Grand Rising, Grand Rising. What is going on? I hope everybody is doing good. We're back doing general zodiac sign readings. Um, we've already completed a couple of them here so far. We've already done Virgo, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus energies. So now we're going to do, um, let's see who we get. <laughs> Let's see who we get again. We've already done Virgo, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. So let's see. We've got a couple more left, y'all. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. Who are we going to do for today? What are we going to do for today? Aries. We're going to do Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, you are your person. Aries, sun, moon, rising, north node, I'm hearing for some. Let's see what we get. Again, I'm your host, Majestic Quinn 444. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. Let's see what we get for Aries for the day. For the day. Let's see. We're going to start off with the tarot for Aries. Let's start off with the tarot. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Somebody could be feeling burdened about a decision that has been made or that needs to be made is what I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody could be feeling burdened, Five of Cups at this time. Somebody could be feeling sorrow. I'm also hearing all hope is not lost with the Five of Cups. All hope is not lost. Somebody could be crying. Somebody could be crying at this time, Aries. You or someone else. Take what resonates. I'm hearing somebody could be crying over spilled milk. Yeah, possibly due to some type of conflict that arises. Um, this is going to be the mid-monthly. So you take what resonates for you in this situation. 222 two, two on the time. I'm hearing you could be working, though. You could be um, feeling a little down about some type of work. I'm also hearing it could be conflict at the workplace. I'm hearing hostile environment. But somebody could be working on something. Working on something. I'm also hearing Aries, watch out. Somebody could be working on trying to bring conflict towards your way. Yeah, devil card. Somebody could be working on how to bring conflict towards your way to put you in some type of funk. At this time, could be a Capricorn energy, don't have to be. But we do have the devil card. Look at that. You want to keep popping out. Because I'm hearing you are not, you're not going to pop off on nobody at this time. I'm also hearing be mindful of popping off on people at this time. You don't know what type of headspace people are in at this time, Aries. Take what resonates for you. People don't know what headspace you're in at this time. 88 could be significant, 555. I'm hearing 6-6 uh, six, six can be very significant. I'm also hearing somebody can be trying to keep you bond, like bond to them. Some type of bondage. You could be in fear at this time. Yeah, more conflict. More conflict. You could be, have fear. You could be in some type of fear-based mentality at this time as well, Aries. Possibly about your future, your money. Yeah, about your money, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with the Libra energy. You don't have to be. But you could be, in, somebody could be trying to bring you some type of conflict regarding your money. Or trying to cause conflict regarding your money. Could be a boss, could be a, a employer, I'm hearing. I keep hearing hostile environment. Hostile environment. Yeah, you got a new perspective on the situation. I'm hearing where someone got a new perspective on you. Take what resonates. I'm hearing somebody could be in some type of despair. It could be, I'm hearing misery loves company. And you're very aware of this. You're very aware of this. Misery loves company, Aries. Yeah. Misery loves company. I'm hearing you, you're at a standstill at this point regarding this employer, employees. I'm hearing friend, family, lover. Take what resonates. But I'm hearing you at a standstill with regarding your finances. I'm also hearing you could be running low on finances. It could be budgeting. I'm hearing somebody try to say that you're cheap. 
I'm hearing how can I be cheap if I'm if all my bills are paid. I'm hearing don't let them stress you. I'm hearing don't let them stress you. Yeah, somebody could be trying to juggle you or juggle a million little things in their head or a lot of things in, in their head. Or you could just be juggling a lot of things at this time. Yeah, possibly a decision. Like I said, somebody could be trying to make a difficult decision and feeling burdened. Look, nine of swords in their head, in their bed, feeling trapped about a plan. I'm hearing the plan didn't go the way they thought it was going to go. Somebody could have tried to plan some type of attack on you to end you. End you. Is what I'm hearing. Somebody could have planned some type of attack to end you or end your employment or end something for you, Aries. Could be love, could be family, could be, a like I said, employers, employee. But I'm hearing somebody's in their head, in their bed at night, thinking about a plan that did not fall through. I'm hearing you outsmarted the devil. Take what resonates, yeah. I'm hearing you walk by faith, not by sight. I'm also hearing confidence. Confidence is key. Somebody could have just told you you have confidence. They respect your confidence. But I'm also hearing projection. Somebody could have tried to project something onto you. Yeah, they could have projected that you're not going to make it. But I'm hearing you, you are going to have the last say-so. You're going to have the final say-so. This could be a King of Pentacles energy. I'm hearing Big Daddy, Big Mama, or this is your energy. I'm hearing Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. We do have the Devil card that's Capricorn. But I'm hearing somebody could have tried to um, set you up for failure, and it did not work. It did not work. I'm hearing your, your, your pinnacle, your money is protected. Your money is protected. Your abundance is protected. Your life is protected. Aries, at this time... Take a resonance. Let's see what we get from my own personal day. Yeah, somebody's going to reach out. Somebody's going to reach out. Somebody's going to reach out very soon. I'm going to reach out soon. Somebody's going to reach out and just be mindful. They might not be in the best head space. They might be reaching out due to jealousy. They might be reaching out just to cause some type of conflict to put you in a negative head space. At this time, I'm also hearing somebody's trying to bust your burp, bust your bubble, burst your bubble, or you could have recently bust someone's bubble, and they're not happy about that. Take what resonates, but somebody's planning to reach out soon. I'm much more me when I'm with you. Take what resonates. This person feels like you allow them to be themselves. I can't wait for the day that I come home to you every night. Yeah, you could have a decision that you need to make. You make me forget how to breathe. I'm hearing right now at this point, somebody could be in a in a headspace where they're hypoventilating. Yeah, name a body part and I would kiss it. I'm hearing you're not allowing it. This was in reverse. I'm hearing you're not you're not gonna allow that. You're not gonna allow this person to come back. I hope you're having a day as beautiful slash handsome as you are. Yeah, pulling me back. Like I said, you're not allowing it. There's somebody that's pulling you back or you're trying to pull some back, somebody back and they're not going is what I'm hearing. They're not going. Yeah, you're on some type of journey, spiritual or physical. Somebody could offer you to go somewhere, but I'm hearing somebody could have abused their power. I keep hearing employer, employee, um, a lover, a friend, a family member. Somebody could abuse their, their authority. Look, family, you can't make this shit up. Could have been a family member. A family member that could abuse their authority or they could abuse you. I'm also hearing um, with this abuse card, it could be anything. Somebody could be abusing um, substance. Somebody could be abusing the fact that, that you love them. They could be like, ma like emotionally manipulating you. Yeah, they're indecisive because they have third parties. So Aries, if you're in a situation where you're like you're confused on if somebody likes you or not, they think you're an ideal partner. They do. They're just very indecisive. They're dealing with third parties. I'm hearing trust the process. Or this is you. Take what resonates. These are not uh, personal. These are general messages from my Aries mid-monthly. 
There's nothing better to hear you say that. Somebody is happy that you think they're an ideal partner. There's nothing better to hear you say that. Somebody is bored at this time. I'm also hearing somebody could be thinking this whole situation they're in is boring. Yeah, and they're ready. They woke up. They woke up. You woke up. Somebody realized the situation that they're in is, is boring. It's boring. I'm also hearing somebody told you that you're boring. I'm hearing the only reason they told you that is because they're dealing with someone else. But I'm here. You already know. You woke up to the situation with that um, with the hangman. You got. You already got a new perspective on the situation. I'm here. Somebody toxic ways is boring, and it's not. I'm here. Somebody's not gonna be stressed out. You or somebody else take what resonates. This could be a marriage as well. With the higher higher offense, higher level of commitment, somebody could want to offer you that and you realize that this person is not for you or somebody realize that you are for them and they're coming towards you. Take what resonates. Let's see what else we get. Let's get some from the love tarot. Yeah, somebody got hurt. Everything that happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. You hurt me. Someone hurt you, Aries, or you hurt someone? Take what resonates. Let's see what else we get. Thank you. Yeah, somebody feeling lost, run away. Somebody could have ran away from you. I'm also hearing somebody want to go on some type of journey, get away with you. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. I'm seeing this a couple ways. I'm hearing somebody ran away. You ran away from someone and they're hurt. Or someone ran away from you and it hurt you. And it got you feeling lost. Or you ran away from someone and you got this person feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. It's easier just to just be silent. Yeah, with the five of cups, somebody's definitely feeling lost. But I'm hearing all hope is not lost. If you turn around and see those cups that are still standing. I'm hearing somebody is mad that you're still standing. You're still doing what you need to do for yourself. And somebody is not liking that. I'm hearing somebody say, how dare you? How dare you? I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but I'm hearing somebody say, how dare you? I'm hearing somebody say, how dare you figure me out? How dare you figure me out? Yeah, you're a mystery. How dare you figure them out? How dare you figure them out? Or how dare them figure you out? Take a resonate because you're a mystery. Or they're, they're some type of mystery. But I'm hearing you're a mystery and they're wondering how you figured them out. 1313 on the timer. I can't seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where we stand. Somebody could just be confused at this time on where you guys stand. Aries, take what resonates. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Yeah, somebody is confused. There's a twin flame here. You activated my soul to find my true purpose, destiny, and life. You helped me to heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time. Twin flame, you could be on a twin flame journey. Anything else? Anything else? Thank you. Yeah, playing games. Somebody here was playing games with you. Like I said, somebody was playing games with you. Somebody could have told you that they don't love you, they don't want you, and I'm gone. Deuces. Or you could have did that to somebody, but really you do love this person, and you do see yourself with them. Take what resonates. Don't shoot the messenger. 14, 14 on the timer. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, or posting is to get your attention. You could be doing something to get somebody's attention, or somebody's doing something to get your attention. Take what resonates. Let's get some from the Islands Time Wellness. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries, Palm Tree. Yeah, somebody's trying to take a vacation. You could be getting ready to take a vacation to heal your heart, is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing Jamaica. I'm hearing Cuba. But you're focusing on your stability at this time. 
stability, security, permanency, growth, endurance, flexibility. You could have been flexible as possible with somebody, but you found out they were just stringing you along. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Yeah, you could be going through addictions as well with that devil card. You'd be facing a lot of addictions at this time. I'm hearing too much of anything is bad for you. 15, 15 on the timer. Like I did say, 15 is the devil card. 15, the devil card. I did say six, six, six. You could be seeing that a lot. I'm hearing the 15th. I'm hearing something could have happened on the 15th. You could be born on the 15th of, I'm hearing December or January. Yeah, addictions. You're trying to go. Oh my God, we got paradise and palm tree. You're trying to take some type of trip. Somebody's trying to take a trip here. Palm tree and paradise. 1555 on the timer. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. You could be getting ready to meet your twin flame, is what I'm hearing. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. That's, to me, the devil card. That's the devil card. Somebody think that you're, you're, you're their possession? This person could be very controlling, or you're very controlling, or you're the one that's possessive. Take what resonates. You're the one that's codependent. You're the one that's obsessed. Take what resonates for you. But I'm hearing, um, Aries, somebody here is very controlling, very obsessed. Um, they could be having some type of blockage, and they're blaming you for their 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 blockage. Take what resonates. I'm hearing somebody feels like you're blocking their money. You could be, I'm hearing somebody saying, how dare you figure me out? Somebody could have tried to block your money, block your finances. Let's see. Let's get some from the hidden messages. These could be from you to you. Take what resonates for you, Aries. Aries, sun, moon, rising. Hidden messages. What does somebody want to say to you right now, Aries? What do you want to say to someone? Take what resonates, reunion. Somebody want to reunite or you want to reunite. We will always come back to each other. Even though there were secrets and somebody ran from you. Like I said, somebody ran. Somebody left you. You left someone. Yeah, I did see run away. And then we got running. Somebody don't want to run away anymore. They got a lot of secrets, though. I haven't told you everything. They want to reunite and tell you everything. They don't want to run anymore. Take what resonates, Aries. I keep hearing a marriage. Somebody's trying to fix their marriage. You could be dealing with a Taurus. They had that. Yeah, but you detached. You detached. I had to let go so I could clear my mind. You could have detached from this Taurus energy. Don't have to be or you can have that in your chart. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, somebody neglected you. Somebody neglected you, which is why you left. I felt to give you what you need. You could have left somebody for neglecting you. Emotional confirmation, excuse me. Emotionally, somebody neglected you emotionally. They didn't care about your emotions. Excuse me. I'm also hearing emotional manipulation. I keep wanting to cry. Like somebody is trying to hold back tears. Oh my goodness. Somebody could have emotionally manipulated you into getting married or I'm hearing somebody in Taurus reading somebody was not trying to sign those papers I kept hearing that but you're focusing on you somebody is mad that you're focusing on yourself self-love I'm trying to heal you're just trying to heal Aries you're just you just want peace because I keep hearing paradise I'm seeing paradise and palm tree I'm hearing you just want peace I'm hearing you don't want the toxic games and the back and forth, reunite and run away. Like, you don't want that. I'm hearing you're getting older. Look, you're unsatisfied, Aries. You're getting older. I wasn't happy the way things were going. Yeah, you're getting older. And when I say commitment, I want you to be a part of my future. Somebody wants you to be a part of their future or you guys are already married. Um, I, I think Taurus had like a legal separation. But somebody found out the papers was false. Somebody, you could have did this to somebody or somebody could have did this to you. I keep hearing false documents and somebody left. Then crying. I keep sniffling and stuff. 
I'm hearing allergies. Somebody could have allergies as well. Let's see what we get for um, angel answers for my Aries. Angel answers. What is going on with my Aries? What do they need to know? I'm hearing wait. It's unlikely. I'm hearing it's unlikely that you're about to wait on this person. I'm hearing somebody say lawyer up. Lawyer up. Lawyer up. Trust. 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 And then we had wait and unlikely. I mean, it's unlikely that you're about to wait. It's unlikely that you're going to wait on somebody to get their stuff together. Because you know there's something better out there for you. Big happy changes. You got big happy changes coming, Aries. Big happy changes. I'm here. Don't stop meditating. Don't stop worrying about yourself, improving your health, mental, physical, well-being. I'm here. Somebody to care about your well-being. Somebody can't care about your well-being if they're emotionally manipulating you. I'm hearing somebody who emotionally manipulates can call brain damage or narcissist. I'm hearing narcissist empath paradigm. Narcissist, narcissist empath paradigm. I'm hearing you need to ask your angels. Talk to God. Talk to your creator, whoever you believe in. Meditate. But I'm hearing don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. If you don't want to give up on this you know, relationship, family, ship, whatever it is, friendship, don't. Just find a common ground is what I'm hearing. You take what resonates for you and your situation. Let's see here at this time. Let's get some from the romance angels. Romance angels. Somebody is definitely unsatisfied. They could have neglected you. Yeah, they were very deceptive. Deceptive. You were deceptive. Take what resonates. Someone is wearing a false, a, a false self mask in this relationship. Unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Uh, confirmation that this is somebody that you're married to or you are engaged to. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Or you could be getting, like I said, you're getting ready. You woke up to who your twin flame really is. I keep hearing false twin flame. And you guys are about to get engaged. I'm hearing stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You could be focusing on your career right now, your finances. Yeah, and somebody could have freed themselves from a toxic individual and they're not happy about it. They're saying, how dare you? I am keep hearing that. How dare you? How dare you work on yourself? Yeah, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Could be religious factors as well. Somebody could be religious. The other person could be spiritual. I'm also hearing um, bisexual or down low. And somebody is actually a religious person. Take what resonates. Yeah, you found new love. You found new love. You found new love within yourself. Or you found your, you, you ran into your twin flame. You met your twin flame. New love. The new love is your twin flame. Take what resonates for you. Let's see what we get from the you and me. You and me oracle. You and me oracle for Aries. Mid-monthly. This is from now to the end of the month as well. This could be past energy, present energy, or upcoming future. You take what resonates. Um, let's see what we get for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. Thank you. I've been lying to myself for so long. This could be, I'm hearing this could be, um, I'm hearing this could be somebody's husband or wife that they separated from, but they didn't want to. They didn't want to. Somebody lied about um, actually, like I said, somebody could have said, F you, this is over, but really they actually wanted to fix it. But they just said they, they didn't want it out of spite. You have the most beautiful and purest heart. They believe you have the most beautiful and purest heart, Aries, or this is you saying this to someone. Take what resonates. Do not make it fit, guys. I do care for you deeply. I'm scared you want too much. 
Somebody's scared that you want too much. I'm hearing you doing too much, Aries, by focusing on yourself, finding new love within yourself. Take what resonates. I wish I could be there for you, but I don't feel ready. Someone doesn't feel ready. You don't feel ready. Take what resonates. I'm hearing you didn't want too much. I'm hearing you didn't want too much. You did not want too much. It was just the wrong person. You were with the wrong person. You were asking the wrong person. But they think you're so beautiful. Or this is your twin flame saying they think you're so beautiful. Take what resonates. The new love. The new love thinks you're beautiful. Aries. I don't know how to talk to you. Somebody's about to reach out soon, but they don't know what to say. They don't know how to say it. I mean, somebody could be fear, fear of some type of rejection. We did have the devil card. I'm trying to understand myself more. Like I said, somebody could be in some type of fear-based mentality over past events, the past period. You feel like home to me. Memories are haunting me. Like I said, I don't feel I deserve you. Memories are haunting this person of you, Aries. Memories are haunting them of you. Take what resonates. I want to get some from the love oracle. I'm going to switch it up with the more, more precise, truthful deck. <laughs> For Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. I'm hearing, I'm hearing your, your memories haunt this person. They can't move on from you. Yep. You can't make this shit up, guys. Painful memories. Somebody got painful memories. Painful memories. You were right. I'm right. I'm right. Somebody got a lot of painful memories. You or someone else regarding you. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Somebody was hurt by you because you left them. You left them. Yeah. And now they're going through. They're actually waking up to their own trauma. They realize they have childhood trauma or you realize you have some childhood trauma that you need to heal, which is why you walk around hurting people or why this person walk around hurting people. Please take what resonates. Don't be in my comments saying, uh-uh, that was me. That wasn't me. That was them. Look, it was you. I keep saying that. <laughs> but I'm hearing um, somebody could have, like, drugs and alcohol. And we did see the devil card as well. Take what resonates. Somebody could be, you know, their addictions is affecting their love life. We did see that. Um, let's see. Yeah, somebody got sexual desires for you, though. Aries, you or someone else, thank you. The passion I feel is overwhelming. I don't know how to handle this. Can I get one more for Aries, thank you. I can't make you happy. And somebody is blocked. You could have blocked someone, Aries, recently, or someone blocked you, or someone's headspace is blocked, and they can't make clear and decise, clear and decise decisions. Somebody could be very indecisive at this time about how they feel about you, where they see you guys going, or this is you. Take what resonates, Aries. Take what resonates. But something here is unrequited. There's a lot of deception. This could have been about a marriage. Take what resonates. All right, let's get some encouragement from my Aries energy. Let's get some encouragement for Aries or this person. Cross watcher, you take what resonates. Yeah, somebody wanna do some type of forgiving. I keep hearing like couples therapy or something. Somebody wants to do couples therapy to fix our marriage. To fix our marriage. Yeah, present moment. This could be presently happening in the moment. Creativity. Creativity. Present moment and creativity. Forgiveness. Being hurt or betrayed is not nice, but it is our own best interest to forgive. Holding on to feelings of resentment not only weighs down your mind, but it can start to show in your physicality. By forgiving those who have let us down in the past, we show ourselves that we are in control of our feelings, and we free our mind towards the positives, positives of the present and future. I have compassion for others and I forgive them for their mistakes by forgiving others I take control of my emotions I'm here you could have forgave this person you could have just said I, flat out I forgive you because you've moved on you literally forgave this person and you you understand you came I'm here you came to the understanding that that is not your person this is not your person 
or this is not your family or this is not a good friend like you've came to that that conscious this like you made a conscious decision with this hangman a new perspective on the whole situation you had to go upside down for a while i'm also hearing your world could have turned upside down for you to realize that this person is is not who you thought they were or this person did that to you take it resonates but this could presently be happening focusing on the now is underlining principle of mindfulness by keeping our full attention on the sights and sensations of present moment we stop our mind from wandering off on unhelpful uh, terrence or towards issues that we can't change. Being attentive to what is right in front of us creates a clear and calm mind and helps us notice and experience things that so often passes us by. I'm a mindful person who truly lives in it and experiences the present moment. I will not autopilot my way through tasks as you shouldn't. I'm hearing maybe, I'm hearing this marriage, this relationship, this family ship, whatever it is, it was on autopilot. It was like, it was like you guys could have been living together, but you were like best friends. I mean, yeah, best friends, like roommates. It was not a loving, passionate situation. I mean, unless it was sex involved. That was the only time we DC sex, sexual desires. Like this person only desired you sexually, but everything else, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. That's why I'm hearing, I seen the unrequited love. It's not enough um, love or attraction to keep this relationship going. Yeah, I'm required of love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You guys could have loved each other. You guys could have cared for each other. True. But I'm hearing at this time, somebody could have had others too. We got, look at that. One woman peeking out of here. Then we got two back there. And then you. You could have realized this person was like a player energy or something like that. And you like, no, no, thank you. I'm cool. I'm going to focus on my creativity is what I'm hearing. Creative inspiration can be, um, can be, whew, yeah, somebody decided to focus on the creative. You could like to paint. Creative inspiration can be, uh, perhaps you're distracted, you're lost, or self-belief, or you're just trying to focus it too much. The first thing we need to do is to relax, breathe. From here, we can work towards the right mindset for creativity. Be aware that creativity does not leave you. You just need to stay patient, calm, and open and give the ideas a chance to come to you. There is a great reserve of creativity inside of me. I'm always open to new thoughts and ideas. I'm hearing this whole situation calls you to tap into your creative side. I'm hearing it woke you up. It woke you up. It woke you the hell up with the hangman. This is being woke up, looking at things from a different perspective. I'm hearing changing your perspective changed your life. Change your perspective, change your life. You could have changed your perspective on this whole situation. Like, I'm cool. This situation is not for me. Or somebody did that to you. Take what, you know, take what resonates for you. I keep wanting to say relationship. So somebody could have said this relationship is not for me. Just flat out said it. Because we did see King of Swords. You could have cut it, at, you could have cut it off. We've seen Queen of Swords. This is somebody who um, speaks truth and they cut off what no longer serves them. So you could have cut off what no longer serves you. You could have cut off what no longer serves you, Aries. Let's get a um, life purpose for Aries. Life purpose for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You could deal with Oracle cards don't have to be i'm hearing you're supported whatever way you go whatever you choose to do let's see aries thank you thank you thank you thank you counseling like i said counseling counseling i did say couples therapy freedom you're on the right path i'm hearing you heal with kind words with wise advice and empathetic ear that's all you were to this person i'm hearing you were like this person's therapist Look at this little person. This person tried to, you know, I mean, this person was like belittling you or something like that. And while you was feeding them, you know, you know, all these good things like, baby, you could do it. I know you, you know, somebody could have lost their job or something. You can do it. It's OK. You know, we'll get through this type of energy. And this person just like shat on you. You know, I'm here. They had other women, other men. I'm here. Somebody went through somebody's phone areas and found like pictures like weird pictures it could have been like 
um i'm hearing somebody went through somebody's history and seen like weird pornos i keep hearing down low like men on men porn or something like that something that was out of the ordinary that this person did not tell you but i'm hearing you free you freed yourself from the situation you're free to do whatever you choose whatever you choose airy not what for nobody else want for you but you're on the right path you're going in the right direction Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. You could read a lot of books. You could be very, very talented, Aries. You could travel soon. Or this person is going to try to travel to you. Let's see what we get for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Is that it? Thank you. Author, you could write. Like I said, books. You have a book inside of you. The wishes to be, that wishes to be expressed, take time to write it. This could be something to do, I'm hearing, um, you're going to write about, like, what you've been through. I'm hearing autobiography. I'm hearing um, self-help books as well for, like, marriages or relationships. Take what resonates for you, Aries. Let's see. Let's get an angel on prayer and we're gonna end it there yeah we did everything yep let's get an angel prayer y'all take what resonates aries sun moon rising venus north node you or your person also check out astrochart.com very very good website for help you to see your own personal birth chart okay okay thank you divine physician and new beginning Divine physician and new beginning. You could work in the medical field, or I'm also hearing you could be a healer. You could be a healer. Thank you, Raphael, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. New beginning. Thank you, angels, for opening up doors to change. I am ready. You walk through that door, or you're about to walk through the door, or you're already walking through that door, and somebody is not happy about it, Aries. Somebody's not happy that the fact that you're confident and you're ready to, to I'm hearing, um, forge a new path without them or with them. Take what resonates for your situation, you know. But this is what I'm seeing for Aries for our mid-monthly now to the end of the month. Or this could be past energy, present energy, or unfold in the near future. This is for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Um, energy you or your person so y'all take what resonates for y'all thank you so much for tuning in i am your host majestic quinn 444 please like subscribe follow me on instagram tiktok miss one of a kind i love you all and enjoy the rest of your week